Okay. Welcome to the superhuman chest workout, guys. This is exactly how I've been hitting chest twice per week for the last year, and I've gained 13.6 pounds of muscle in 16 months because I am annihilating every single muscle group with the balloon method. So this is the superhuman chest workout. Buckle in, guys, because this is gonna be about an hour to hour and 10 workout. We're gonna do 20 plus sets. We're gonna hit every section of our chest. So we are getting into my first working set. So I like to go nice and heavy on the dumbbell bench press because it's the number one mid chest activation exercise. And what progressive eccentric means is obviously very similar to progressive overload. I just want you guys to always remember that the eccentric portion is the part where you actually create more healthy micro tears and that means more gains. So I'm going nice and heavy, 115 pounds for two total sets here. Um, aiming for six reps on these heavy working sets and then I actually uh, decided to change it up and try to go really really heavy because I had 125 pound dumbbells so that is on the next set. So this is the heavy set right here. Um, I've actually never done 125s just because the gym that I train at only goes up to 120, which is really frustrating. So I typically do like 120s for five to six reps. Um, grab the 125s, they definitely feel a lot heavier. It's crazy what just five pounds makes. I'm hyper conscious right now. I'm shredding, I'm on day number 11. I'm really hyper conscious about not losing strength while I slowly lose weight. So I try to lift really heavy. Progressive eccentric needs to be a staple in every single one of your chest workouts. So as you can see, the third rep there, um, very shaky, but once again, even though I was at failure, go nice and slow on the eccentric portion of that last rep. So getting into dumbbell pullover, and I'm doing a drop set on here. So I call it anabolic drop set. It's recently stirred up a bit of a controversy on Instagram because people are acting like um, I just threw the word anabolic in front of it for the hell of it. The reason that I call it that is I was just trying to differentiate um, the rep range and the rest time and the percentage of the drop. So. I find that the maximum amount of metabolic stress and muscle damage, which is two of the three ways your body builds muscle, is if you can be in the eight to 10 rep range back to back, like at failure with a short rest time, it is just absolutely like brutal. And it's really gonna help you guys build muscle. So on this one, I went as heavy as I could for about eight or nine reps. I'm resting about 15 to 20 seconds, very short rest time, just enough for your chest to recover and still have decent strength. And then I grab the 70s, which is about a 30% drop, a little bit less. And I'm trying to pump out another eight to nine reps. So the goal is to match the reps that you did on the first one. So you're pushing yourself heavy for as many reps as you can do. So if you do 10 on the first part and you drop the weight 30%, the goal should be 10 reps on the second portion of the drop. And if you have those numbers in mind, it makes your drop set so much more intense. So that's actually why I call it the anabolic drop set. And uh, yeah, this one was absolutely brutal. Two sets of this total. And uh, next we're gonna transition into a little bit more time under tension style chest training. So what I'm doing between sets here is just a little bit of isometric chest flexing. I'm trying to pump a ton of blood and fresh oxygen into that chest when it's fatigued. And I do this before I start my maximum time under tension style training, which is going to hit the metabolic stress phase of muscle growth. So getting ready for the T30 sets with a nice pump. Next up, we are doing incline push-ups. I really like starting the T30 phase of the chest workouts with some push-ups. 
it's just like so reliable and so effective for pumping a ton of oxygen and blood into that chest i feel honestly the biggest pump in my chest workouts just simply doing some really slow and controlled push-ups like this in between so breaking up the workout just really trying to change it up and increase the metabolic stress done during the workout so i'm going nice and slow and controlled i'm trying to go a full 30 seconds time under tension and the incline push-up is traditionally going to work you know the lower chest and the triceps a little bit more i feel though a lot in my mid chest as well So I decided to throw in two quick sets with short rest time of the incline hex press. Another one of my favorites. The key with this one is you really have to squeeze and activate your upper chest hard by just squeezing your hands together and those plates together. I could have probably gone a little bit heavier on this, but I didn't want to feel it in my anterior deltoid. I wanted to try to really focus on channeling that mind muscle connection in my upper chest. So this is a great one to go T30, 30 seconds time under tension. So we're going two quick sets here. Very important that you keep a short rest time on these little shapers. Okay. Next up we have what I call chest scissors. So on this one it's very important you don't go all the way back and extend your arms. It's just keeping the activation right on your chest. And I get the craziest chest pump ever on this exercise you're crisscrossing your hands right over left and left over right focusing on squeezing the chest every second not resting it for even a half a second and this one is absolutely brutal so t30 sets which means 30 seconds time under tension not 30 sets total just 30 seconds time under tension Next up, this may look similar, but I actually feel it a lot more in my outer and my lower chest. We're going parallel grip high to low, really focusing on that lower and outer chest area. So this one, once again, we're going T30. So I really like several different positions on the cable fly machine. In fact, the cable fly machine is probably my favorite way to hit chest. So I just go quick T30 sets, two sets in a multitude of positions. So we're actually gonna hit it from one more angle after this exercise. <laughs> the last cable chest exercise, we are going low to high crisscross. So very important, you're going left over right, right over left. Now the low to high position is going to emphasize the upper chest better than the other positions. So. We go high to low to hit lower chest, and we go low to high to hit upper chest. So I'm going T30 sets, which means 30 seconds time under tension, really focusing on squeezing, and this is gonna end the cable chest circuit. So I'm just doing one more finisher here until failure. I'm going decline push-ups, which is going to hit the upper chest more. So obviously my chest is completely taxed at this point. So even push-ups are challenging. So I like going nice and slow and controlled when my chest is at maximum fatigue. And push-ups really allow me to contract my chest throughout the movement. So this last finisher, I recommend adding these finishers to your workouts in every single muscle group. This was absolutely brutal. Thank you guys so much for watching the Superhuman Chest Workout. Let me know in the comments what muscle group you want me to cover next. Make sure you give this video a big like. I'm going to link to all the other Balloon Method workouts in the description below. Give me a follow at Troy Shred on Instagram where I'm documenting daily my 75 day shred and I will see you guys on the next video. You ain't no weights.